What's going on, everybody? Today, we're doing another Supreme Draft. Again, Supreme Draft is you open 36 packs by yourself, one at a time, and you take two cards from every pack you open. So you end up with a 36-card deck. Mm -hmm. um, today, instead of doing Ravnica, all the Ravnica sets, like eight different sets, it is one set, and it is Modern Horizons. So, uh... 18 packs of Modern Horizons. Let's see if we remember this set well enough to figure out what's good and what is not. Rock's Veteran was very, very good. Good Fortune Unicorn was very good. See, like, this is interesting. Whenever another bear enters the battlefield, put two 1-1 one -one counters on that bear, or a bear fights another creature. Thundering Jin also pretty good. No ninjas here, so we can't really ninja anything. What up, Kyer, Superfred, Some Elf, and Akarin? I would say Good Fortune Unicorn and Rocks Veteran are the two cards I'm leaning towards. Really uh, rules out ninjas here. I'll take him. We'll see what happens. Okay. Mob is very good. Feaster of Fools is... F f meh. Irregular Cohort is nice. Manowar is great. Hmm. Reprobation also fine. They lose all their abilities and get become an O1. So... Um, jeez. I mean, we could go to a completely different interesting mob and mana war. I like that they're like, Mirrodin besieged. Take this. And I'm like, no, it's terrible. Hmm. I mean, if we get a couple uh, Snowlands, Winter's Rest isn't that bad. You tap a creature, and as long as you control another Snow Permanent, the Enchanted Creature doesn't untap. So, that's a thing. This is just a 3-3 three, three for 3, right? It's not terrible. The fixing's not great in this set, as far as I, as far as I remember. Let's take Splicer's skill. Whatever. Hogak! Oh man, it's been a long time since I've seen Hogak. This guy has Factor Fiction, Mana War, and Pondering Mage. Jeez. Jeez. Real tempted to take Mana War and Pondering Mage here. Or Mana War Factor Fiction. Generous Gift, also fine. Lana War Tribe, also fine, but a little bit hard to cast. Settle Beyond Reality is great. That's wild. This pack is insane. Of course we're not taking Hogak. I don't think it's this. I don't think this is very good. I think it's like Manowar Factor Fiction. This guy's real good too, though. This is wild, dude. This is wild. <sighs> we could also just take these and stay white. I don't know. Like, I don't think that's better. So far, we have nothing to really blink with this. I think it's Manowar Pondering Mage. I just think they're both good. I think it's. I think it's these two. That was not easy. It was not an easy choice. Altar of Dementia. And we just passed a Hogak. Someone's going to combo out. Winter's Rest could be fine. 1-1 one, one Flying Vigilance. That's pretty good. It's not very good. 
Uh, Talisman of Curiosities lets us keep this good fortune unicorn, possibly? Okay. Winter's Rest could be good. I could see us picking up more Snow Permanents. Also, Pyrohemia. Saddled Rhyme Stag is real great. Actually, let's take the Rhyme Stag. Let's take the other Rhyme Stag. Rhyme Stag is pretty insane. As long as you have another creature on the battlefield, it gets plus two. It's, it's literally becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Force of Virtue. Hmm. Let's take Rhyme Stag. I wonder if it's just Force of Virtue here. It's got to be better than like a random or regular cohort, right? Like an... Oh, Soul Herder? Hmm. That seems pretty good. Soul Herder actually seems great here. So does Snow-Covered Forest. Maybe? I don't think we have anything that cares about that. And these are snow creatures anyway, so if we get Winter's Grasp. These cards are super compelling. I mean, Wind Crawl Arvin's kind of fine. You just cycle it. Wing Shards? Interesting. Plus one, plus one vigilance when it dies, manifest. Eh. I guess it's gotta be wing shards. Nothing else great in this pack. Shelter's probably just fine. I mean, grave diggers, grave shifter is great, rather. So is pyrophobia. Unsettled mariner, that's interesting. Actually seems pretty good. So does other pondering mage. Oh, Miss Naga Syndicate seems bananas. I mean you don't have to be ninjas to appreciate this guy. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you can make a token of it. That seems very good. Another Rocks Veteran's also nice. Definitely taking Miss Syndicate Naga. We could also just be blue green splashing the white. Mike, dude, I really appreciate it, man. Every time someone writes me in on one of those surveys, I really appreciate it. I just want to be considered, that's all. Crossan Tusker's nice. Mother Bear is pretty good. I want to take Mother Bear. Blizzard Strix is great. Whenever his battlefield, if you control an owner's snow permanent, exile a permanent other than it. Return that card to the battlefield and owner's control at the beginning of the end step. It's also just a 3-2. Uh, a Flyer, which is pretty good. We also have um, Winds of Abandon, which is 100% we're taking. Yeah, I think it's just Blizzard Strix here. I think it's probably better than a third Pondering Mage, but maybe not. Force of Negation. Ooh, if only this was a real pack, right? What does Force of Negation go for in real life? Hmm, 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 hmm. Also, like 43 bucks. That's not terrible, actually. 
Uh, Winter's Rest. I don't think it's another Rocks veteran. It might just be Rocks veteran regular cohorts, which are really good for Rhyme Stags. I don't think it's true full combo. Winter's Rest is fine. I mean, our Snow Permanents are like two Rhyme Stags. I think it's definitely Rocks Veteran. Could just actually take a Snowlands too. It's good with Blizzard Strix and it's good with... I guess it's only good with Blizzard Strix. We're not like... I'm going to take the island here. Actually, I want to take Winter's Rest. I think we can get more snow lands. Oh, I like I like the I like the endling. Yeah, I'm going to take Snow Forest here. Probably just a regular cohort's number 2. Uh, I disagree about saying lands. Like, I mean, we want to be able to take Winter's Rests and actually have them. Uh, considering this costs snow mana, I, I and I have one snow land right now, like, I definitely don't think this is the pick. We're just never going to be able to cast it unless we draw our literal one snow land. I'm just going to take Cohorts here. Battle Screech is nice. Yeah, so I think, like, actually, Frostwall is really good. So it's between Battle Screech, Frostwalla, and Snow Covered Island. Definitely taking Island. I just want I just want actually these this winter's rest we took uh, to actually do something. Screech might, might just be better than our other cohorts. The problem is we don't have a ton of white creatures, so we'd have to like literally draw with Battle Screech and any one of these three or these three. I think Frostwall is just going to be better for our deck, unfortunately. Whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, I put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. This is actually not terrible, because we have two regular cohorts, which are also changelings, and Unsettled Mariner. I also think Trumpeter, Trumpeting Herd might be better than one of the regular cohorts. We'll see. But, like, at this point, any any pack that has a snow-covered land, I'm just taking it as one of my picks. And now we have Genesis Watcher or Frostwalla as contenders here. Chicken contenders. I'm tempted to just take the regular cohorts out and just go blue-green splashing for the white cards. Because double white's probably not ideal. Genesis seems pretty good, though. I agree Screech is really good. Obviously, Screech is one of the best white uncommons in the format. Oh, Ice Fang Kotal. Get rewarded for your... Um, Yeah, we're definitely taking Ice Fang Kotal here. And Snowland. Ayula's Influence. Discard land, create a 2-2 bear. Another Blizzard Strix. Another Mana War. It's probably just Mana War here. I mean, it definitely is Lana War. Mana War when we have uh, Soul Herder in the deck. So it's either, I think it's, it might just be Settle, because we don't have a ton of removal right now. Okay. Another Talisman, another Settle. Mm, I Kite. Another Trumpeting Herd, which might be better than second regular Cohort. 
I mean, we're definitely heavier green at this point. Nope, it was going to take a regular cohort. Wait, what? <laughs> that was very strange. Okay. So this is 26 cards in our deck. I don't think we need another two drop here. Let's take the nature's chant. All right, so we need three cuts. Winds is really good. Regular cohort can come out. Hmm. Wind color even's kind of meh. Everything else seems really good. I feel like it's a five drop. We're definitely playing all four of these, which is super nice because now Winter's Rest is a little better. Frostwalla is actually decent. Tempted to just play 21 or 41. I think we're just 41ing it. So, what is this? 4, 4, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 7, 4. I don't hate it. I'd like to go up to 5, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it's even, wow, that's wild. Oh, we get one more anyway. Perfect. Okay, that's actually great. 7, 7, 5, yeah, that seems sweet. Alright, well, let's see if, uh... Modern Horizon Supreme Draft is really where we want to be. Yep, make sure to make that random noise at the end of the draft. That makes no sense. Bing, 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 bing. Yes. Um, can't cast anything. Moho, please? Yeah, you got it. All I'm going to use green. We have seven sources of green. I'm going to keep it. Oh, get a load of this guy. Broke the format already. Okay. Well... 7 out of 33. Greater than 20%. Nailed it. Beautiful, 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 beautiful unicorn. It's dead. It died.
might as well play Sliver here because if it gets in next turn, we have to put a counter on it. So, but it's a 3 3. We did take the irregular cohorts out, so this might not be as good. Seems good. Seems bad. Well, just gonna play Frost Wall here. I have no snow snow mana. Ah, <sighs> seems good. Okay, this definitely might be a take all the astrolabes and take all the snow mana that you need until you can't anymore format. It's interesting to see it in action. I'm definitely going to sacrifice one of these guys. <clears throat> I think they're going to block the Frost Wall as well, which makes this guy even better. Yeah, this is this is great. They take six and make two copies. Well, a copy, rather. But we now we have Mana War back in hand, so we can just bounce whatever they play. That's pretty good. It is much less colorful than Ravnica. Oh, well, that's good. This is actually a great draw. Turns on Pondering Mage, Settle Beyond Reality, and Trumpeting Herd. So you're telling me they can't activate this guy, so they're going to trade and we're going to make a second copy? Seems good. I feel like we're way ahead right now. Also, we can settle beyond reality to exile their Tusker if they just replay that dude. Oh, they might have Savage Swipe. Yeah, no, no Savage Swipe. It's the Sorcery, right? Yeah. Okay. Exile target creature you don't control. This has got to be game, right? We make four missed Syndicate Nagas. Oh, man. They thought they were so fancy with their Frost Wallas. What up, Stank Lesnore? Got him. <laughs> God, he did get me. Is this what getting wrecked feels like? Fuck. What are our chains like? Just Mariner right now? It's the only thing that's going to get uh, buffed by Tempered Sliver. See, that seems worse now, so we can just go down to 40. If you're wrecked for more than four hours, consult your doctor. Buddy, I live in America. I don't have a doctor. <laughs> what a dummy. Consult your doctor, please. What the hell's a doctor? <laughs> beautiful. Why do I have beautiful voice stuck in my head? By John Jonathan Lennon. Rhymestag into Naga seems pretty good. Oh, snow cover perm number two. Guys, this is Ice Fang Kotal triggering right here. You guys ready for this? Oh, we can actually, maybe we can get him to block and then we can flash this dude in. Sneaky pumps. 
Or they can just savage swipe this guy. Well, they're not doing that. Okay. This is all fine. Everything that's happening is fine right now. Really? They're like, oh, I know what you're doing. And I'm like, no, nah, you don't. Got him. <laughs> oh my god, Ice Fang with Miss Fang Naga. Oh shit. It's not Miss Fang Naga, it's Miss Syndicate Naga, but that's fine. I'm still pumped about it. You may put any number of snow permanents among them. Okay, so you hit Blizzard Strix and Land. And you just played land. Sounds good. So we now got a Blizzard Strix. Sure. Alright. Sounds good. That was a draw too. That seems fine. I mean, now they're in real real trouble though. Because we get to flash this back. This guy gets pumped. Making copies. Making copies. This is how the game ends. Not with a bang. But with a whisper. Jesus. Yeah, they had a family. So now we get to go Ice Fang Codal into Good Fortune Unicorn, or vice versa. Play Unicorn and then play Codal. Now we have one we have one green. Green is our bottleneck right now. Are they gonna just play Strix to exile the token? That would be interesting. Yeah, okay. Ooh, and they got Savage Swipe? Wow, that's pretty good. Jeez. That's a turn, alright. Alright, well, that's a fair trade. We traded Blizzard Strix for Miss Naga, so. Uh, that seems pretty decent. Or we can just play Genesis? I kind of like this because I do want to hit another green source. Well, look at that. How lucky. Um, I don't. I think we're shuffling, though. I don't really want three lands. Hey, look at that. <laughs> God, the rich get richer. Look how good Saddled Rhyme Stag is. It's just that 4-4 four, four for two. All of the Wily Beckett art that's coming out of Zendikar Rising previously have been fired. I don't even... I'm not sure if I'm familiar with Wily Beckett without seeing his work. Wow, multiple scour all possibilities. Okay. I don't know if that card is that good, but who knows. I mean, do I just trade here? It's very tempting. I mean, if they want to block here, I think that's fine. Sure. Wow, they're spending f five for that? Jeez. Oh, yeah, this card's great. Oh, wow. Let's just show it off. Soul Shatter, three mana rare black. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker with the highest credit mana cost among creatures and planeswalkers they control. This is a very, uh... It, it's, a, it's a very common design. Um, yeah, but the art's great. It has kind of like a comic booky feel to it. Okay, so that's literally just a 2-2 two -two and you can't... Oh, you can pump because you can untap with Rhyme Tender. Rhyme Chicken Tender. And we're definitely just playing this guy as a 2-2 two -two at the end of the turn when you have... 4 life and you're at... 4 life. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, this game's probably over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Da -da 
Don't give me none of your aggravation. I've had it with your discipline. Let's get rid of the Frost Walla because that's the one you can make a 4 for. That's probably game. Yep. All right. <laughs> All right. So our deck seems sweet. We can take out the Tempered Sliver. She did most of the random, the random Garbo Common in M21. Garbo Commons in M21 and two cards in ELD, and that's it. That's interesting. Well, you got to take up that uh, that Noah Bradley, Teresa Nielsen void. Also, this is the uh, the Borderless one, which looks amazing. Um, this hand's a little rough, but I'm on the draw. We have all our colors. I'm going to keep it. We don't have any green whites on turn one. We do a, a white blue. So I'm going to play blue here. I did not play Mama Bear once. It's true. Okay. This is actually pretty good. We can mana board the next play and then play either trumpeting or rocks. Unblocked ninjas have lifelink. Well, that's fantastic. Isn't that special? Well, that is certainly special. Huh. <laughs> well. I think it's just trumpeting herd. Oh, we can actually play Rhymestag Winter's Rest. That's pretty good, right? Problem is, if they kill the Rhyme Stag, this guy just untaps. I think it's worth a risk for now. They might not even see that. And we can also just draw Snowland. Don't give me none of your aggravation. I've had it with your discipline. Now I have Saturday Night's alright for fighting in my head, I guess. Snowland. Dang it. They didn't play their ninja. I don't know what they have. Mob, maybe? That's what we figured. Well, what can you do? Another land, we get to settle this guy and blink mana war. Oh boy, that's interesting. Okay. It's not very mature, but. that This is an interesting attack because if we draw any snow permanent, like it just doesn't untap. Snow land would be great here. That's a regular land. I appreciate it, but...
Don't give me none of your aggravation. It is Wednesday, my dudes. That's true. He's right. Put a negative one counter up to one target creature and draw a card. I mean, we knew what it did. I just want to clarify, but... I don't really want to bounce this guy. I think we just play a dude. Leave him on the board for a turn. I mean, Genesis seems pretty good when we can just, like, keep recurring mana wars that die, so... Oh, Sammy, happy Wednesday, my dude. It is happy Wednesday, my dude. And it's Mike's birthday? God. Guys, can you text Michael and tell him a happy birthday today? That'd be great. If you guys could forget Mike's digits in the chat. And then text him and be like, Michael, happy birthday. It's your birthday, Michael. So happy, happy, happy birthday. Frostwall, how you doing? All right, so we're gonna exile a creature you don't control and an exile a creature I do control. Target creature you don't control, target creature you do control. Bounce your stupid little Avon birdie. And attack for seven. This is half your life. I feel left out already Thursday down. Oh, man. Akarn, are you in Australia or New Zealand? It is Thursday, my dude. Does that, make, does that help? I mean, we both have, like, they have they have three, they have four cards. We have, Oh, they're just cycling to get to get a little better board position here. They did nothing? Hmm. And we're just gonna alpha here. I assume they have uh, a removal spell, so... If they want to block here, they can take seven. They have four cards in hand. Like, they gotta have something. The Nevada Goblin. I don't know if that's what that means, but... Oh, we just win the game. Okay. All right. Well, I accept. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to keep it. I think Snow Cover Forest having all three colors and even a Soul Herder is pretty good. Winmore.com. I feel like you just resubbed. Did you not? Either way, I appreciate it. Not that direction. I'm from Poland. <laughs> oh, okay. So I didn't have to go that far. It's probably like, what? Like 1 a.m.? Hopefully he's feeling the love. I hope so. Yeah, sometimes Twitch is weird. I feel like sometimes Twitch will let you make your resub announcements, like, more frequently than once a month. They're like, just do it again. Tell them, tell them you subbed again. Okay. Yeah, 
Man, they're really taking their time here. Okay. I mean, once you have, like, a snow-covered forest down for, like, winter's rest, like, they just... It's very hard to get rid of. Interesting. Kind of. Also kind of boring. I don't understand numbers. I'm just going to play this guy, because... We have nothing else. No, no blocks. Soul Herder just has a super high ROI. I'll take two. Okay, sure. This is how much they wanted to kill it. They were like, I'm not going to bounce it pre-combat. I'm going to bounce it post-combat. Oh, big brain. I'm actually probably just going to play bear here because I want to be able to not take four and go to 12. And bear is good in the graveyard, so. Is David Blaine still floating around? So I don't know. I actually want to see that. I want to watch his... David Blaine is like... He's got a lot of inhuman qualities about him. And it's it's very it's very much like traditional magic where you're like, I don't know how much of this is real and how much of this is just an act of some sort. I mean I can't imagine not blocking here. Hoping you don't have like fallen shinobi. Oh, that's like terrible. actually pretty good I actually tempted just mother bear here but if we play this next turn we can soul herder huh Did you hear they're trying to make white an actual color again? Are you talking about science? Like science is trying to make white a color instead of the absence of color? Or is this a magic thing? It's really hard to tell. I'm actually just going to go Blizzard Strix here. Reason being, we have two very good cards that go along with it. Thank you! Are you referring to Amiria's Call, which is, like, literally a land? That card seems bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. I'm probably gonna... Are you gonna counter this? Huh. Phenomenal. Just phenomenal. That's probably the end of the game. Firestarter, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I mean, I know you know you just play Amiria's Call as like a, a land in your deck, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, three, and four. That's unfortunate. Oh, we actually could have Winds of Abandoned there. I think we're going to do that next turn. Yeah, 
And if it costs like white six. I mean, what's the difference between four white, white, white? Like. I don't know, man. Free spell that makes two four fours, then it gives all your non injured creatures indestructible until your next turn. Like, until your next turn, not even until the end of turn. So, like, you play it on your turn, and, like, your guys still don't die on their turn if they wrath, so. Like, it, it basically protects all your creatures. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the card we're talking about right now. Emiria's Call. For 7 mana, create 2 four, four white angel warrior creature tokens with flying. So four, four, you get 4-4 four, four angels. Non-angel creatures you control gain indestructible until your next turn. So all your other creatures are safe. But this is the land. As it enters the battlefield, you may pay 3 life if you don't enter as tapped. So it's basically just a planes that like comes into play tapped, but you can actually make it untapped. If you really need the white mana. Uh, I don't know. Like this seems like. I'm playing 25 lands in my deck let's say. And three of them are Amiria Shattered Skyclaves. So they take no spell slots whatsoever. They're just all upside in the late game. I don't know. That seems pretty wild to me. five cards in hand. That's a lot of cards in their hand. Do we think they have another counter spell? Maybe. Beer Man Man, I agree with you completely. One of the biggest issues I've always had with Magic is that, like, lands are dead in a late game. And, uh you may not get enough of them in the early game, so it's very frustrating. Exclude number two? That would be amazing. Just kill my Mana War in response. Not in response. In, in, res in res before your end step, you see. Sure. And if they have another wind caller, even like we're just dead, but. Otherwise, we go to two, and that's okay. Oh, they do. Cool. <laughs> nice deck. <laughs> Fucking double wind caller, even. This car is not even that good. I mean, the thing is, like, it just seems greedy because I'm like, I'm already playing the land anyway. Like, if I have three planes in my deck, I'm just going to straight up replace them with three of these. And now I have seven drops in my deck for when I flood out. Like, I don't know. Mm, 
This seems fine. Their deck seems good. I mean, they have Yawgmoth. That's got to count for something, right? I guess my major issue is when you were casting a WW before spell. When, when are you casting? It? You, I mean, you don't think this is standard? Like this standard format doesn't doesn't strike you as a format people have seven mana constantly. People are playing Ugans. What do you mean? Has it fix white? Like it's not supposed to fix white. Why is this one card? Why does it fall upon this one card to fix white? That doesn't make any sense. That's like the plumber coming to my house and being like, and like working on my toilet. And I'm like, all right, cool. You fix my toilet. But like, well, what about my electric? And I'm like, but that's not my job. Yeah. Like any white control deck, like put it in a, put it in blue, white control, put it in Esper control, put it in bank control. Like, Are they just choking tethers? Like. Wow, that's pretty that's pretty great for us. You fixed my toilet, but did you fix white? <laughs> like, no man, that's not my job. I mean, like, if you like Castle Garenbrig or uh Castle Ardenvale. You should fucking love this card. It's literally a white mana that when you don't need white mana makes threats. Like that's literally like what control decks want. Like it's 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 Urza's like Urza's factory, right? Urza's factory is like tap seven and it to make a make a two two. Um I think we're just playing Rocks Veteran. Oh actually let's play Frostwalla. Three three frost wall seems good. Oh my god, an instant! So like you get the instant speed indestructibility and two instant speed blockers. Yeah, that would be really pretty broken. Really fascinating. can't really do much here unfortunately i guess we'll just play rocks better no maybe is that does that do anything because next time we can play both of these if they play something else that we care about I thought this guy was a 3-3 for a second. Now I feel silly. I think we're still fine, but... Oh, they just concede because they can't hit fourth, fourth land on turn 5. I mean, it's not... Eh, oh well. The decks I could see running it are land heavy, but like it's a whole new format, right? Like when Zendikar Rising comes out, don't a bunch of sets leave? Aren't there sets that are leaving? Don't all the Ravnica sets leave? So like, I don't know how you can see any decks running it because like it's going to be a brand new format. And also like, those are all three C, which would have a hard time hit, hard time fitting in. I don't. I mean, I'm not sure. That's I don't know if that's true. Like. Yeah, like, I mean, I, 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 like, people are playing Niv, like, Niv Mizzet is a playable card, and that costs six mana, and it's three, 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 it's, it's blue, 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 red, 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 like, three, three blue is not hard, three white is not hard to get in that two color deck, or a three color deck, at seven mana, like, that's just not a thing. I mean, people are playing Euro, it's blue, blue, green, green, like, people play that thing on turn five, like, turn four, maybe, like, it's just not hard to get. Oh, that's a snap keep. 
Right, if you don't... Yeah, it's not only not only is it a 7-man card, but like it costs 3 white, sure, but like if you don't have the 3 white, you just play that one as a white source. And then the next one you can cast. It's literally like a 7-mana threat that like helps you cast any future 7-mana threats. Alright, we have 4 snow-covered lands in the deck and 2 rhyme saddle stags as the uh, snow-covered permanents I can think of. So you're saying if everyone's playing lands that only tap for one color because they're DFC, that equation may change. I don't think it would because the lands they're playing that are dual-faced help them cast those dual-faced cards, right? Because, like, every dual-faced card you're playing of that color, every, every uh, Emeria Shattered Skyclave I'm playing in my deck helps me cast the Emeria's Call. Whenever Undead are going to zombie, draw a card and lose a life, sure. What about whenever this guy goes back to your stupid hand? So people, uh, double, double snow, nibbles, double snow, snow swamp and an Arkham's Astrolabe and a snow forest as your first four plays is pretty interesting. Let's get in there. Let's see what happens here. You want to trade? I'll trade an auger for a mana war. Sure. I got a Genesis here. You get to draw a card. That's fine. You know you build a brew with four of those flip lands, and at some point your opening hand will be all four. Yeah. Well, maybe. But they're still just lands. I still just play them as lands. The lands are a much bigger cost, that's true. Because you are you have 36 cards to build a deck. Um, so you can only take so many lands before it starts cutting into your sideboarding. This just turns magic. I know, I was like, please, dude. Please. Yeah, that's pretty good. And they get to draw a card? Sure, lots of things happening now. I mean, so far they played cantrip, 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 so... Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, shoot, a caterpillar. No snow permanence for this winter's rest, unfortunately. What's Allure of the Unknown? I actually don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, but I mean, like, they just don't... They just choose not to cast it, you know? And then instead, like, you just, then you have to have, like, Rolling Vortex in your deck. Like, it says that opponent may cast the Exiled card, right? So they just can choose not to cast it, right? <sighs> this 
So I'd like to exile this, but I don't know if that's super impressive. Just trying to figure out what to do here. Soul Herder's nice, we can blink this, start making it bigger, but blinking this doesn't do much. I kind of just want to get rid of this thing. seems pretty good come on snow cover forest one time regular forest well that's close so they can make it a 4-2 with undying I think I'm actually fine with that. Well, you don't have to see the Oracle decks. Like, cards in your graveyard are only one side. Like, Delver of Secrets isn't a card that has a one mana converted mana cost and a four mana converted mana cost at the same time. Every card is only its top side. And you can see that this is the the front side. This, this triangle, one triangle means front side. Two triangles means back side. So, this is the front side of the card. When you go to put this card in your graveyard, you flip it back to this side. This is its unfront, this is untransformed side. Oh, they gave a death touch instead. Okay, sure. That's fine. I wish I had another snow permanent. But... Yes, it means your lands, if you're playing them specifically as lands, they are thought in your deck. They are they are vulnerable to thought seize, that is correct. Flavorful. Saddled a rhyme stag. Yep, we're gonna go to the next game now. That seems pretty good. Uh, 
that's... You know what? We got Manowar and Rocks Veteran. Sure, I'll give it a shot. And if we get Snow-Covered Forest, it's just... Beautiful. Oh, well, that's very good. Yep, that's a real piece of shit. Yep, this is probably 2-1 now. <laughs> Hex Drinker. Yeah, okay. Then again, this this format was better than I thought for uh for Supreme Draft. Well, you would have been nice last turn, but so this has one next turn they can give it pro instance, but they cost their whole turn. So I think we're just going to go Talisman into Mother Bear. Because this means they have to spend their whole turn upgrading this guy, and then we can bounce it once they've done that. So I picked up some B12 supplement, because I was curious. I don't need a ton of meat. So I was curious, like, maybe this could help my just daily life. This card's going to be a problem. And the funny thing is, if you look at the ingredients, it is 5,000 MCG. Is that milligrams? It seems like, wow, Urza too, huh? Wow. Cool, dude. Nice. Nice deck. So we've seen Ice Fang Kotal, Urza, Endling, and Hex Drinker. Micrograms? You nailed it. Thank you, guys. Uh, and that is 208% of your daily value. Actually, this is very tiny, so I'm not sure if it's 208,000% or 208%. Let me check. And by check, I mean I'm just going to use my phone because it has a great zoom on it, so. Yep, that's 208,000%. That's unreasonable. You really need adult like, multivitamin barring some weird deficiencies. Um Yeah, I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> it's, uh Urza, huh? Yeah, I don't like that. Weird. <sighs> yeah, I don't drink energy drinks. Let's draw Winds of Abandon. That'd be pretty cool. Gives them a million lands. But... We did not draw uh, Winds of Abandon. That's less cool. Pretty sure we're dead.
Yeah. All right. So lesson is that I think snow permanents are a little more uh, valuable in this, and you do have to pick up the snow lands pretty highly. But two one for our first modern horizon supreme draft still feels pretty good. Definitely check out Nord VPN if you guys are looking for a VPN. They're a sponsor of the stream currently, and uh, you can get sixty eight percent off the first two years and one free month. So definitely check that out. You can go to nordvpn.org slash Frank Laporte. It's a great way to support the channel. So is manatraders.com. They have an amazing Magic Online subscription subscription service where you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. Check all those things out. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time, guys.